how to get a driving license in Belgium. Okay, okay, that was too abrupt for you. Hi guys, I'm Mansi and I live in Belgium for five years now. So in this video, I will be talking about and explaining to you how you can get a driving license in Belgium. Is it really difficult? How much cost it takes? How can you get the driving license? What are the rules and regulations? Specifically, I will be targeting the Brussels capital region. Although the format is the same, there is very, very slight difference between the regions of Flanders and Wallonie, but you can rely on this video Video as a baseline for your driving license exam preparations. So why me? Because I cleared all my driving license examinations in Belgium, be it theory, practical or anything in one go on a manual vehicle, which is relatively difficult and has lots of scope of mistakes during examination. And also in uh, the local language here, in French language. So I never took any translator and I just did it in the most optimum way. So you also want to know the secrets of cracking your driving license examination in one go, saving lots of money and yes, saving the, you know, a lot of stress that comes with examination preparation. Watch the video till the end because I will be sharing my personal secrets with all of you. So either you will be coming from countries that are part of the European Union and European Economic Area. If your driving license is belonging to these countries, you can easily exchange your driving license for the Belgian driving license. If you do not belong to any of the EU countries or countries of EA area, don't worry, there is a list of countries whose driving licenses are recognized in Belgium and you can get them exchanged. Uh, countries like India are not in the list. So people who come from India to Belgium, they need to go through the whole process. A lot of people question me that can we come to Belgium along with an international driving license so we'll be able to drive. Uh, you can and you can then drive for six months from the date you register yourself in the commune up till 185 days, roughly uh, six months. But I personally will not recommend this unless you have an exceptional experience of driving in countries like uh, Belgium or in Europe, basically the right side driving countries. Uh, if you do not have practice, don't put your life in danger. Okay, don't risk your money because if you do something wrong, you'll have to pay a lot of money. And also you can put lives of others in danger. So better to go through the whole process. So I'm dividing this video into four sections. The first section is is about the theory exam the second is about the red cross training the third one is about your practical driving lessons of 20 hours and the fourth one is about the d-day the risk perception test and your practical driving exams talking about the theoretical exam first you can appear for theoretical examination 17 years onwards of age and you can appear in uh, French or Dutch languages for other than the, this, if you are opting for another language, you will have to hire an interpreter. That means you pay an extra 50 euros above the cost of the exam, which is 18 euros. In Brussels capital region, you can give the theory exams at two places. There are centers at Anderlecht and there is one at Shirebeek. The examination consists of 50 questions that have to be answered in 30 minutes. So for each question, you get 15 seconds. Uh, the passing marks is 41 out of 50. For each correct answer, you get plus one. For each incorrect answer, you get minus one. And there are four questions which are hidden throughout those 50 questions. You will not recognize which questions are those, which consists of your uh, testing knowledge about the serious offenses. So if you answer these questions incorrectly, you will straight away get minus five marks. That means if you answer two of such questions incorrectly, you will be disqualified from the examination. As soon as you finish your 50 questions and you've completed your examinations, you will immediately see your score. So you'll learn if you have passed or failed. The exam result is valid for three years. And if you fail in two consecutive attempts, you will have to follow a 12 hour course with a registered driving school. Most important question, how to prepare yourself for these theory examinations? I am putting a link which is very, very good. I personally have practiced through it. Uh, it's a very good link through which you can purchase examination codes and you can practice the examination questions. This will be exceptionally helpful. Do check out the link in the description. The next step after the theoretical uh, driving license examination is the Red Cross training. This training 
training is very important because it teaches you how to behave and how to help the possible victims if you encounter a traffic accident on the way. This consists of two parts. The first is the e-learning and second is the face-to-face -face training that happens in Brussels at the Red Cross Center. Once you have completed with both these things, you will get a completion certificate and there's no examination so you can be relaxed. The result of this is valid for two years. The next step for you after this is the practical driving lessons, the most interesting part. Imagine driving on the European roads for the first time. So you can choose a driving school in your area, in your locality, uh, based on the reviews, check out with your colleagues and friends. And uh, it's normal that you will get an appointment after three months or so because there is rush in these places. The driving school, the practical driving school, these lessons will cost you about uh, 1200 to 1300 euros and the cost is almost the same for English, French and Dutch so there is no segregation here. This is the time you can choose if you will give the driving license examinations for manual vehicle or automatic vehicle. Remember, if you get a manual driving license, you can still drive automatic vehicles but if you choose to give examination on automatic vehicle, you practice on that, you cannot drive manual vehicles later on. During these practical lessons, in total, you will be spending 20 hours of practical sessions. So you will attend 10 sessions, which are of two hours duration each. After successful completion of your practical lessons, uh, you will get a completion certificate, successful completion certificate from your driving school. And you can take this document to your commune and in one week you will have your provisional driving license. Yay! And you will cry. <laughs> but hold on. Having a provisional driving license does not mean you can drive anywhere, anytime in Europe. So you can only drive in Belgium on a specific time. You cannot drive all the time. Plus, you cannot drive along with anyone. You can drive with people, but they should have a Belgian driving license, at least which is valid since eight years. So you cannot drive on weekends. You cannot drive on public holidays. Uh, so you cannot drive uh, on Friday 10 p.m. onwards up till Monday 6 a.m. You cannot appear for your practical examination right after you get your uh, provisional driving license. You will have to spend time of three months. Uh, utilize that time to either buy yourself a car so that you can practice or ask your employer to give you a car so that you can start practicing or you can practice with a friend or colleague who has a driving license at least since eight years in Belgium. Now let's talk about the final part, which is the risk perception test and the practical driving examination. What is risk perception test? It's a simulation of real-time driving experiences. So you are shown two to three videos and then you are asked 10 questions in total. These are multiple choice questions. So minimum one answer correct and there are maximum three answers correct out of the four options. Uh, you have to answer six questions correctly in order to pass. The risk perception test also happens in French or Dutch. So if you want to give it in English, you will have to hire a translator. The approximate cost would be about 25 euros for this. Remember, the center that you choose to give your risk perception test at will also be used for giving the practical examination for the driving license. These two exams cannot be given at different places and you have to pay at once for both these exams and the cost is about 42 euros without translator. Although you can give the risk perception test and the practical examination on the same day, but the result of the risk perception test is valid for whole one year. So you can plan your practical examination a little later also. Now it's the time for the final driving test in practical on the road. So there can be two categories. Either you have a car or you don't have a car. Let's say you have a car. If the stress of the practical exam wasn't enough, there will be four people at this time when you give the practical driving examination. The first is you, of course. The second will be your examiner. The third one will be the guide. So basically it's a compulsory person who has to be there to accompany you, who has at least 
driving license since eight years. And the fourth one is optional. If you want to give it in English, you will need an interpreter. If you don't have a car, then you will have to go and speak to your driving school. So they will uh, provide you their car and they will also book a slot for you. In this case, the person from the driving school will act as your guide. So you don't need to look for another person to act as a guide for your examination. Now let's talk about what actually happens in this examination. There are two objectives of this examination. First one, is to assess if the candidate really controls their vehicle well and the second is that the candidate respects the traffic rules and you are assessed under different points and I'm putting a link in the description check it out it has wonderful information for you all so the assessment points are, is that uh, how you use your vehicle how you place your vehicle on the road. You cannot just place your vehicle anywhere. You have to respect the traffic rules and priority signals. How you cross and pass through different vehicles. How you change the direction of your vehicle, light signal speeds and what is your driving pattern. Is it really defensive or your independent driver? and all such things are checked. Two basic maneuvers are also there. One is the U-turn in a narrow street, which you should be adept at. And the second one is the taking a reverse of your vehicle and parking it parallelly. So these two are definitely asked and you should uh, know how to do these. If your examination is just finished in 20, 25 minutes, do not be very happy because then you are definitely failed. But if you complete your exam duration full of like 45 minutes, there are still possibilities. You might pass or you might fail. So when you come back to the exam center, your examiner will go inside and bring the calculation sheets, etc. And then he will share, he or she will share the results with you and share the points where you did bad and where you need to work upon. If you fail, remember, Two consecutive failures in the practical examinations will need you compulsorily to take six hours of practical uh, lessons again from the driving school and then only you can come back for the third attempt. If you pass your driving license examinations, of course, congratulations, uh, but remember, you still cannot drive immediately on the roads because just you pass the examination. Get the documents that the examiner gives you and go to the commune, submit your provisional driving license along with the required documents. Wait for one week to get your actual physical driving license. Remember, until you get this physical driving license card, you cannot drive in Belgium. So just be a little more patient. Remember, if you are caught cheating in your theoretical or practical examination anyways, uh, you will be disqualified for one whole year. And because of any reason, if you disrupt the flow of examination because of your behavior, you will be suspended for six months to pursue any of the processes of your driving license examination. I have been driving so wonderfully in India and I was so confident that why I need to go through all these process. But there is so much of unlearning to be done and learn the driving practices here. I highly advise you to go through all these process diligently and that's why I you know combined all this information and my experience and made this video for you guys I hope you really enjoyed watching this video and learned a lot of things and in my personal journey I I would only want to thank Abhishek my husband he has helped me so much to go through all these examinations I won't say that I passed everything in one go in French language so I'm very proud of it no there are really people behind you who make sure that you fulfill all your tasks and really enjoy your victory and so this is my little effort to make you prepare for your big day when you get your driving examination passed in all ways so if you enjoyed this video give the video a thumbs up drop some comments if you have still some questions or some feedback share this video with your friends and colleagues who want to go through this process uh, for the driving license so this is me, Manzi, signing off and uh, I make videos about Belgium, specifically the life of an Indian in Belgium and I hope you like watching these videos. I will be making many more such videos in the future. Till then, stay tuned and bye-bye.